Hey, what's up everybody? This is CLS All-in-One. Today I'll be unboxing and testing a very cool tool I just added to my collection. This is the Kuwait Self-Leveling Construction Laser. This features three 360 degree laser lines consisting of one horizontal and two vertical lines that cover the floor, wall, and ceiling with perfect 90 degree angles. The laser output is a highly visible green with up to a 30 meter diameter work area. And when using a laser receiver, the work area increases up to 70 meters in diameter. And this laser will automatically self-level if it's within four degrees plus or minus of being level. And these lasers are available on Amazon. If anyone out there is interested in picking one of these up, I'll make sure to put a link in the description. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside. It does have a nice carrying case with an adjustable strap. And to secure this, it does have a zipper. Right on the top here is a user manual, and this is pretty straightforward to follow. It does feature a couple diagrams that show what the buttons do, and also explains a couple other features. And I will try to cover most of the features of this laser in this video. Right here would be a laser target. This has a reflective background and can be used for locating the laser line in brighter conditions. And let's see what else we got in here. Here is a USB charger. I'm assuming this will be to charge the batteries. And here is one of the batteries. This is a rechargeable lithium ion battery that's 3.6 volts with 7.8 amps. And this laser does come with two rechargeable batteries that last up to 20 hours apiece. So that gives you plenty of working time. And here's a look at the USB-C charging port. And I do recommend that you take these batteries off the laser first before charging them. Here is the USB-C charging cable. And over here, there's a tripod mount for the laser. This will allow the laser to swivel. And this also has a very cool magnetic base, so you can stick this to any solid pieces of metal and use this laser without a tripod. The magnets appear to be pretty strong and have no issues securing the laser level. The laser level itself appears to be pretty good quality. From what I can tell, it seems to be weather resistant and it's made of pretty rigid materials. I was actually rather surprised with the quality of this product. I expected it to feel a little bit cheaper when I was holding it in my hand and be built with some thinner materials. But so far, it seems like they've done a pretty decent job with the build quality on this laser. To turn this laser on in self-leveling mode, you just turn the lock button to the unlock position at the bottom. After turning on the laser, it should begin blinking and enter self-leveling mode. And if it's within four degrees plus or minus of being level, it will automatically level and the laser light will stop blinking. It does feature two buttons on the side. The one on the right will be for activating the pulse mode. When this is activated, that will make the laser more visible on bright sunny days when trying to use laser detectors or laser receivers. And the button on the left is for changing between the different laser projection lines. There is multiple modes you can pick from. You can have a horizontal laser line, a front vertical laser line, a side vertical laser line, or have all three of these laser lines working together. The laser lines can project in a 360 degree pattern on the walls, floor, and ceiling. The laser light itself is a class two laser and pretty bright when compared to a lot of the other self-leveling lasers I've used over the years. When using this laser indoors, even with all the lights on, as you can see here, it has great visibility. It can also be used outdoors, but there is some limitations involved and I'll discuss that here in a few. Self-leveling lasers such as this one can be used for a variety of different tasks such as framing or marking routes for plumbing or electrical. It also works great for setting grade stakes in forms. In this example here, I'm checking the grade of a concrete footer form and I'm using a grade rod along with a laser level. What's cool about using a laser for this is that I can do this by myself, which is incredibly handy. But something that I would like to mention is the laser will not be very visible on a bright sunny day. To use the laser in sunny or bright conditions, a laser receiver will probably be needed. And here's a couple other uses for this laser level. You could use this to mark some outlines for where you want your tile to be located. For this job, I did use a laser level to mark the outside edge for where the backsplash would be located behind the stove. In this example here, I'm getting ready to build a wall in a unfinished basement, and the green laser line on the floor 
represents where the wall will be located. And you could also use this laser for more simplistic jobs around the house, like hanging a picture. Okay, now it's time to do a couple tests with this laser level. And I will be testing this side by side with a Johnson Hotshot laser level, just to give you a comparison with another laser. So the red laser is the Johnson Hotshot, and the green laser is the Kuwait's. In this example, I'm in a new construction home with some open walls, allowing quite a bit of daylight in. And as you can see here, only the green laser is visible from about 15 feet away. The lighting conditions here are a little bit too bright for the Johnson Hotshot laser to be visible. And I did grab a four foot level to confirm that the horizontal laser line is indeed level and everything looks good. I also checked the vertical laser line and it appears to be plumb as well. And just to let you know, the Johnson Hotshot laser level also produces nice level and plumb lines, but they're just not visible because how much daylight there is at the moment. In this example here, I'm inside of a garage and it's a little bit darker area with some shade, so both of the laser lines are visible, but you can clearly see here that the green laser line is quite a bit brighter. But I would say both of these laser levels are usable in this area. In this next example, I'm in an unfinished basement with the lighting conditions being just a tad bit brighter. And I'm going to go ahead and push the laser mode key and go through the different laser projections. So we can do just a vertical laser line or a horizontal laser line or vertical and horizontal laser lines together. In this test, I'm about 30 feet away and both the red and green lasers are visible, but the green one again is a little bit brighter. And I did grab my four foot level again to confirm that the green horizontal laser line is level and everything looks good. And here's a look at the 360 degree projection of the green laser from the Kuwait's laser level. And this is about a 50 foot wide basement. This laser is visible in all areas of this basement. I also have a laser line that's projecting on the floor and ceilings. So right there you can see both the red and green, but the green laser line is projecting in a 360 degree pattern. So you can see that going all the way around this room. So this could be very handy if you're building a wall down here. You could center it on the floor and the ceiling at the same time. And here's another look at the 360 degree projection. It goes all the way around here with some vertical and horizontal laser lines that are nice and visible. Okay, now let's do a couple tests with some brighter lighting conditions. So right here I have both the lasers on and the green laser is visible from here. If I move a little bit closer, I can see the red laser as well but that green laser is way easier to see. In this example here, I am outside and this is a cloudy day with a little bit of sun. And I got both of these pointed at my house that's about 10 feet away. And the only laser line that is visible is the green one and I can just barely see it. So this is about as bright as it can be with that green laser still being visible. If it was any brighter, I would have to use a laser receiver in order to use this laser outside. Here's an example where it's quite a bit brighter and the sun is out. And right where the shade is, that green laser is visible, but where the shade is not, that green laser starts to disappear. But I can confirm that the Kuwait's laser level is more visible than any other laser levels I've tested in the past. I've used numerous Johnson laser levels that just don't have the same laser brightness as the Kuwait's. But I would like to mention, when using a laser receiver and brighter lighting conditions, the Johnson and Kuwait's laser levels have similar performance and accuracy and can all get the job done. For myself, I prefer to use the Kuwait's laser level just because the laser is more visible, which makes it easier for me to use in most situations. In this example here, I'm just goofing off with the laser level at nighttime. And right there where it's circled is a stop sign that's about 300 feet away. And the laser is plenty visible from that distance. So I've talked about most of the pros of this laser, but I would like to mention a few cons as well. I do wish it included a laser receiver because outside on sunny days, it will be required. I also was slightly disappointed that you can't charge the laser level when it's in use. I also don't know what the longevity of this product will be since it's not really a mainstream brand name product, but they do offer a three year warranty for any defects due to faulty materials or workmanship so that made me feel a little bit better. Okay, it's time for me to go. If you like this video, if you could hit that like button and subscribe and have yourself a great day and I'll see you next time.